Today is a beautiful day for science. Currently we have a solar event that occurred. It was a prolonged M5 plus. Uh, the event began at approximately 2205, 17 July 2023, and ended just shortly after a few hours at 0217, where we started seeing the stitching of the area where the coronary mass ejections had been sent from. So the peak of the event, though multiple flares were included, was an M5.72 at region 3363. There were two significant ICMEs involved and two proton events. We're already seeing the involvement of both proton events and uh, that's what we'll be looking at here in a moment. But first, this is of course the event we're seeing firsthand here and the important aspect, we've measured the speed of this event. <laughs> it's moving quite quickly and it's quite encompassing. Very beautiful event overall. Uh, we're expected to see this impact us approximately 32 hours, plus or minus 6 hours, approximately 0700 on the 19th of July. There's expectation of a possible up to G3 level storms. Depending on polarity, it might be slightly higher. We could see a G4, but uh, I'm expecting up to a G3, uh, most likely at least a G2 from this storm from what I can see so far from the imagery. So as we can see that motion of plasma, how quickly it expands. This is a two-part storm, so we're going to actually be hit by both of these ICMEs that came from 3363. And we're going to pull up on C2 so we can see a closer view of these events. And they're indeed very, very beautiful. And even uh, stereo ahead, though it's uh, limited on imagery, was able to catch, uh, catch a few of these events here. Let me get that one proper. So we only have five images from stereo ahead, but nonetheless, quite a good capture of these uh, corona mass ejections. All right, so speaking of the proton event, we can see on the proton flux here that we are having an impact at this moment. There are two specific proton events that occurred, one with each of the ICMEs. These are surface level events that did occur that caused due to the, uh, the unique and exciting polarity at the surface of the sun. But uh, let's take a look at that a little more closely and see where we're at. We are at S1 currently. Here we go. So taking a closer look, oh, I need to move that. <laughs> All right, and there we go. So taking a closer look, we can see that second spike on the proton event that did occur. Uh, it, I don't think it's going to push us too much more than the, the first one did, but we're going to see this proton event last until the duration or till the arrival of these corona mass ejections. When the proton event occurs, it's almost like a, a barrier or not buried, but a buffer that it extends and it has a connection to this um, these ICMEs. Uh, I forget the exact scientific term, but essentially we're going to see the action of this proton event up to the ICME, and we might even see an increase of the proton event just prior to the impact of the ICME or solar storm. All right, so in summary, We had a peak level of an M5.72 from region 3363 solar flare that included two significant ICMEs and two proton events. Uh, they occurred approximately between 2205 and the uh, end time frame here, 0217. As we see, that's the time frame shown on the imagery. The peak flare occurred at 0006 on the 18th of July. And the storm is expected to impact approximately 0700 on uh, the 19th of July, UTC. So that's pretty much the update, or plus minus six hours. That's pretty much the update. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Always welcome to talk science, and cheers and science on.